Hello everyone, today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to use high poly models and ID maps for your substance painter project. That way you can use uh, more features into your textures and have it all on a low poly model. So let's get started. Um, so right now I, I created a low poly model. So this is my very very low poly model it's got a smoothing shader on it we don't really need to know that much more about it so i i titled it low i'm going to duplicate this model and i'm going to call this one high and also make sure that you have um, your texture on there so i i call this window one you want to assign a material to it so now I have my high poly model as well. And I also have already made a little frame for this design. So this frame is a totally separate piece. I want to add this frame to my model, to my high poly model, but I don't want to have it, um, I don't want to have all the vertices and things like that in my <clears throat> in my Unity project at the end of this. So that's why I'm going to apply this into a high poly version of the model and then all of that is going to go into Substance Painter. So I've got these two versions. I've got the frame and I've got the window itself. Um, you can see that they're actually intersecting which is what we want. So I'm going to add a modifier to this high poly model. So I'm going to add a boolean modifier. And I'm going to select, oops, yeah, I'm going to select my object. And I'm going to go to Union and then Apply. So now my high poly model has the frame in it. There's a couple little corners here, which we can probably... Resolve. I'm going to dissolve these edges. You know what? Let's, let's undo a couple of steps. Let's undo that bully and apply. So you can still see that these corners are there before the boolean is applied. I'm just going to select them, dissolve, and then what usually works for me when I have this issue using smoothing shaders, I just join vertices in a different direction. And that usually takes care of it. Let's see if that worked. Okay, cool. That worked. I'm going to now apply this boolean and we have our nice frame. The next step that we want to do is basically create an ID map on this on this window here. So I'm going to go to my materials and I'm going to go to edit mode, select faces, and I'm going to go ahead and select all of them just for ease. And I'm going to change the name of this to frame because the frame has a lot of faces, it's easier to select it this way. I'm going to assign. And then I'm going to select these faces, create a new material and call it window point zero zero two. And I'm going to assign that. So now we have that material and that material assigned. And a very important step that we must not forget is to change the color of each one of these because we're going to use them later in Painter. So I'm going to go back to object mode and change the frame to a bright green color. And I'll change the window to a purple. And this is now what we have. Um, I wouldn't suggest I wouldn't suggest deleting the face on the actual window itself. If you wanted to get rid of 
this little overlap here. Actually, you don't really need to because it's just a high poly model. We're just using it as an example. That's not what's really going in your Unity project or your Unreal project. So don't worry about doing that. So now we have two models. Let's export both of these. Export FBX. I'm going to call it window low export. And then I'm going to export this one and call it window. Oh, I messed that up. Export window high. This one's going to be window low. Window. Okay. Let's go to Painter. We're just going to create a, a new project using default parameters. I'm actually going to change that to 4K. And then I'm going to choose my window low for this. And then there's my low poly model. Uh, then next you go to edit bake mesh maps. And then you're going to want to add your high poly model right there. That's where you add your high poly model and then you can change these parameters as well. I changed them to 0 0.2, 0 0.2 because that's what a, another YouTuber told me. Um, and I uncheck average normals and then I change this to two by two. Uh, I said another YouTuber, let me tell you his name. Oh, I don't have that video open right now, but Yeah, uh, I'll link his, I'll link all of the videos that I referenced um, in the, in the bottom of this video. So we've got our parameters set. I'm going to actually change this also to 4K. I'm leaving everything here checked. You really don't need all of it, but it's fine to just have it checked. So I'm going to go to bake. So as you can see here, we have our model. And if you go down here to ID, you can actually see the different colors that we applied earlier in Blender. So let's go back to material and I'm going to change. I want to make the frame this nice copper pure. So we have a nice copper pure and I'm going to delete this. So now what we're going to want to do is go back to ID. And then here on your texture, you want to add mask with color selection. And then on your properties, you can pick your color and pick this bright green color. That's why it's important that the colors are different. Um, so you can easily distinguish what is what and Substance can also do the same. So if we go back to our material, our frame has this nice texture on it. And also you can tell this is actually a completely flat plane, and, but it looks like there's a frame on it. So that's really nice. So. That is the end of this tutorial. Um, you could add whatever you wanted to the window. I'm not going to do it in this video because we have covered everything that we need to for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was very helpful. And yeah, um, we'll be coming out with some new videos soon. Bye-bye.